This morning, the world remembers Pope Emeritus Benedict. Here is video from just a few hours ago of Pope Francis entering St. Peter's Square for the funeral there. Ariel Placencia is in our studio this morning, and people across the globe are celebrating the former pontiff's life this morning in Vatican City. That's right, Mark. Tens of thousands of people from all over gathered at St. Peter's Square early this morning for that funeral. It was held about 3 a.m. our time, and it's a foggy, cool day in the Vatican City. Ushers carried the coffin of Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI out of the St. Peter's Basilica. Now, Benedict retired in 2013. He's the first pope to step down in more than 600 years. He died on December 31st at the age of 95 at the Vatican, where he had lived since retiring. And his successor, Pope Francis, presided over the funeral mass in Vatican City today, which is the first time in modern history that a current pope eulogized a retired pope. Now, before he died, Benedict made it clear that he wanted a simple ceremony, but his reign has been overshadowed by the sex abuse scandal that has rocked the church. He was buried with a biological text that reads in quote part, he firmly fought against crimes committed by representatives of the clergy against minors or vulnerable people, end quote. Now he will have a private service before he is buried at the Basilica. Now here locally, there is a memorial service that's going to be held in Dallas at the Cathedral Shrine of the Virgin of Guadalupe in Dallas. And Mark and Kara, that's going to be held at noon today. All right, thanks for the update, Ariel.